Hello, my name is Louise and today I'm filming my 14th eyeshadow roulette. I had planned to film this in the day with natural light, but um, well, that didn't happen. So I'm filming now. The last two weeks were pretty good in terms of like the makeups. I would say that four out of five of the colors were good quality, easy to use, but the dud was the expected dud. So let's just go through all the colors. I think our heating is broken because it's really cold in here, even though it's not that cold outside, it's like around zero. So I don't really understand. So I have a warming mug of tea. Look, it's the Soot Sprites from Spirited Away. This is a really nice mug and Spirited Away is a really nice movie. So yes. Okay. So let's just go through the colors from last time. The first one I randomized was from the Body Shop and it was the color Grape Expectations. This one, yeah, this shadow, like when you swatch it on your finger, like, oh, that's pretty. But when you go to swatch it on your hand, it's like, hey, where'd it go? So I'm just gonna build up the swatch quite a lot. Oh, it's, okay, it's not sticking to my hand. Like really it's not sticking to my hand, hold on. I'm gonna take some setting spray on my hand. Okay, new try. Yeah, see this? It's so disappointing because when you swatch it on something, mm -hmm, like on a wet, slightly wet base, look at that. It's a beautiful color, but I cannot keep a color that is so, just goes, it just blends into nothing. So this was actually the worst color I've used so far of the, how many times? Five by 13 is 65, right? So of the 65 colors I've used, this one has been the absolute worst. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. So I'm actually removing this from my collection. The second color I randomized was from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette, and it was the black color under Aries, this one. This was a very, very nice black, like, Oh, okay, so granted, I do have the setting spray that has dried, but last time the swatch was also very, very nice, very intense. It was an easy black to use. I use it both to like smoke out a look, deepen the crease, but I also use it as an eyeliner twice. And I'm usually not that kind of person. I'm like, no, shadow eyeliners are so finicky. I don't like them. Prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I used this one actually three times. This one I used twice, but three times for the black. Now, both the third and the fourth shades were randomized from the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. This is such a nice palette. Just, you know, just putting it out there. The quality is good enough, I'd say. It's not fantastic, but they're okay. Do you see the naughty kitty there? <sighs> yeah, so anyway, she's not allowed to be up there. She probably does it all the time when I'm not at home, but, but as long as I'm at home, I can tell her off for being a naughty kitty. Anyway, so this palette, I like the layout, you know, I like the colors. There are a lot of shimmers, duochromes. It's just a, it's a very lively palette, which I super enjoy. So the third shade was the color Ew, which is this green one. So nice. Mm hmm. So. It's not quite as vibrant, I would say, like not quite as neon, but it's a nice green. I use it twice. I love these kinds of colors, you know? And it's a bit powdery. Like when you swatch it, there's a lot of powder kick up and it's like maybe borders on patchy, but I feel like it still does what I want it to. So it's a nice color. We'll use it again, no doubt. The fourth color was the color Underground, which is just above ooh, which is that one. There we have that one. It's not quite as pigmented as you might expect. I use it to like as a topper on other shades. It's a nice color. It's a nice shimmer. I use it twice as well. Not my favorite of the bunch, I have to say, but you know, it's good. It's good. The fifth and final shade was from the Nabla Dreamy palette, and it was the color Signorita, which is that one. It's like a nice. I called it like a terracotta red, and I kind of still feel like I was right. It's like a, it's like a red but with a little bit of a pinky undertone, but it's also, it's a little, you know, clay-y. That's a word. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, do you see if this one had really been like this just off the bat? Oh, but you saw how it just 
lend it away to nothing. So yeah, oh, it's such a disappointing formula. Anyway, so these four, beautiful, no problem. I used all shades except for the black one twice. The black one I used three times. Mm -hmm. The three palettes randomized are very good palettes. I would recommend them all, you know, for like for color and variety, probably these two. For quality, this one, yes. But it's more of a neutral palette, which isn't for me always that fun, but these are three very nice palettes. Okay, so shades from last time. Let's insert the selfies from the last two weeks. time yes very pleased i will now be randomizing new shades but i received a palette from my good friend today it's a beautiful palette hold on i'll actually show you Urgh. okay so her and me we have this like ongoing makeup exchange like if she buys something and she's like oh you know i really liked it now i'm not using it that much she'll send it to me and vice versa this is the touch me palette from gloss gods Oh my god, the colors are so pretty! I was actually this close to buying it when it came out, but I was like, no, you know, I should just, you know, use what I have. I was trying to be, I don't know, what's the word? Not frigid. Um, I was trying to be good. I, I don't remember, what, what word am I looking for? I was trying to be Economical? That's not the word I'm looking for. Anyway, so happy about this. So this means nine more shades in my eyeshadows from palettes. Mm -hmm. That means that I now have 325 shades in palettes and 56 shades in singles. Now, in the singles, I know that, like I said last time, no foe has two positions, but I honestly can't be bothered to change it from 56 to 55. So we have 56 shades in singles and we have 325 in palettes. That means I have to count. Hello, pencil, hello, pencil, pencil. Um, hello. So that means I have to randomize from 381 shades. Whew. Okay, as per usual, we have the computer and we have a random number generator. So let's just enter in one, two, 381 and then let us generate 233 very exciting this is my favorite part 273 no unfortunately not right okay 233 is the morphe always golden okay and it's the color aware the reason i looked a little skeptical was because i know this is a neutral palette and i'm hoping it's not too neutral but it's the color aware which is okay it's that one like a warm brown okay well you know it's a useful color feels nice that one okay 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 can work with that mm -hmm. yeah yeah no, no, no problem mm -hmm. so next shade 76 so early in the palettes okay oh yay okay this is a palette i haven't had in the roulettes at all so Mm, it's from Sleek. I know that Sleek is maybe not everyone's cup of tea. It's like, oh, it's a cheap brand or whatever. But this was one of the first neon palettes I could find. It's very old, but I really like particularly this or this orange, this green. 
stunning, stunning. Maybe it doesn't swatch the best. Maybe you have to work with it. But for the price, mm -hmm. okay, anyway, so the color that I was supposed to choose is, oh my goodness, it is the green. Okay. I have to build up the swatch quite a bit, but I don't know. Like I said, it's such a pretty green that it doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. Okay, it's definitely not this neon in real life, but there we have that one. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> so happy, super happy. Now for the third shade, 329. <laughs> Feels like a number I have said. Oh, okay, it's because it's a, it's, it's from the Zodiac palette. And let's see here. I've described it as a warm purple by Leo. So that sounds promising. Let us see Leo. Oh, oh, it's this one. Okay. So that's like the third roulette in a row where I get like a purpley burgundy. Ooh, it is a warm, it's definitely a warm purple. Yeah, that one. Okay, so these are really, these actually, I'm mm -hmm, so far so good. Okie dokes, three mattes so far. I'm hoping for, you know, a shimmer or two, preferably. 372. Oh, this is late. Oh, I am excited. I'm always having like a pulse because I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, in this case I have. Wow, okay, 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 okay. Hold on, I have to count. Ooh, it's from my friend, friend in the States. Okay, it's Cosé Visé. Uh, glossy rich eyes burgundy I can't read the kanji but okay okay okay, okay. this palette and it was the brown shade okay it's a shimmer that one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh it's so soft mm -hmm. yep it's like a dark brown metallic I am I'm happy okay final shade 186. <laughs> oh, it's a palette I haven't had in a while. It's the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. This gorgeous thing. Yes, yes, yes. And let's see which shade. Okay, so it's the color Queen Mother, which is ooh, this shimmery purple. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost, I would argue, it's not really a duochrome, but the shimmer is like purple, warm purple, but the base color is like brown. Okay, okay, this swatch is very thin and these are very wide, but you know, <laughs> I'm so happy about this. This green does a lot to like brighten the look of this color scheme and these two mattes will be very useful with these two. This green will go with anything, in my opinion, because I love the color so much. So let's go through this beautiful color scheme. So first up, we have from the Morphe 9A Always Golden palette, the color Aware. Then we have this beautiful neon green from the Sleek Acid palette. We have a warm purple from the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. We have from Cosé, the Glossy Rich Eye palette in the Burgundy iteration. And finally, we have from Color Drain, the Queen of Hearts palette, Queen Mother. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This was last time's. This was this time's. I will say I feel that this is more cohesive somehow, even though this neon green for some people might be jarring. For me, this is just, mm, yes, I see it. I will use it. I will love it. So really looking forward to this. What really makes me happy is that this color and this color are from palettes that I have not had in the roulettes before. That means I'm actually getting through more palettes and not just having repeat palettes. So yeah, okie dokie. I will be making notes of this. And then from tomorrow, we will start with this color scheme. Yes, I am pleased, so pleased. Anyway, so I hope you're having a nice day. Take care, wash your hands. If you're eligible, get vaccinated if you can get vaccinated. One reason why those of us who can get vaccinated should get vaccinated is because there are people who simply just cannot receive the vaccine, maybe because they're allergic to something. When I lived in a dorm, one of my dorm mates, she was highly allergic to eggs. 
So I know that she, at least back then she had quite a few vaccines that she could not take. It was a big source of stress for her. So that's why it's important that we get vaccinated if we can, because we protect those who cannot. So solidarity. Yay. Um, yeah. So take care, wash your hands, etc., And I will see you in two weeks with more looks. Yes. Bye.